Look at this fat iguana. Look at him run. Ah, here we are. <clears throat> Let's put some fish in the boat today. Got all my rods on the boat. Got my bags. All that's missing now is a cooler. Gotta go back for it. Full speed ahead. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's see if we can get engine started first try. Come on. Oh. That happens to me. Take care of your boat. Adios, docks. Time to catch some fish. Wow, it looks really clear today in the Gulf here. I gotta take a little stop at the gas station at the marina where gas is twice as expensive as anywhere else. Wow! <laughs> Pull it together, Heiko. Don't tell me auto, but I just bought that house. Ooh, I also bought this one. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I bought this one too. Oh, no, I bought that one over there. You really think I could buy a house after I spent all my money on this gas? No way. There's my pit stop. Looks like there's some boats already. Time to get in line. Oh, the pain, the pain. My brand new electric reel, the uh, Daiwa Tanacom 1000. I'm gonna try to do some deep dropping. So what I'm gonna try to do today is probably First thing I want to try doing is some um, vertical jigging and maybe like 150, 250 feet right off here on the coast, um, kind of right on the reef's edge. And then I'm going to drive around, see if I can mark some fish on the bottom. And if I can, I'll maybe troll for some dolphin if I uh, see any good weed lines or any good structure. And then we're going to run out to the uh, to these humps here and try some deep dropping. So. We'll see how today goes. There's some pretty big clouds in the sky, so hopefully I don't get stuck in anything. Should be all right though, I'll keep an eye on the radar. some sort of structure, mark some fish or something, and then, uh, then I'm going to drop my uh, vertical jig down and see if we can get bite. Just cruising here off the coast of Tavernier. Uh, that's Isla Mirada down there and Key Largo right over there. I'm going to drop this lure down here. Uh, I thought I marked a fish, but I'm pretty sure it's just a false reading. I'm gonna drop it down anyways. 237 feet. I'll just kind of reel it up 20, 30 feet, let it drop back down. It's called the yo-yo. You just bring it off the bottom, let it fall back to the bottom. 
That way if there's a fish down there and he saw it the first time but he decided not to grab it, maybe the second time he sees it, he'll grab it. All right, no bites jigging. I'm not on very good ground, so before I waste too much time here, I'm gonna run out to the humps where I know it's good. All right, I'm gonna use a, well, I'm gonna start with a four pound weight. Hopefully that can get to the bottom. We're only in about 450 feet. I marked some fish. This isn't originally where I wanted to go, but I marked some fish, so. Might as well give it a drop and see what happens. I'm using this pre-rigged rig. Let's see, it's got one. three hooks on it. and I'll have this glow light stuck on there. So I'm gonna put two on each hook. Marking a few little fish on the bottom, so I guess. Oh, wait a second. I gotta hook up the thing. Duh. All right, well, it's finally come down to it, so we'll see what happens. Crack the guess. All right, uh. Put on my handy dandy glove. Okay, we're on the bottom. All right, so I guess that little bump there is when the weight hits the ground. So I guess it's right on the bottom. I'm gonna have to put a GoPro on the brig one time, see what's biting down there. Wait, I think I might have a fish. No, never mind. I'm just being crazy. All right, this is gonna be drop number two. Down they go. Oh, I think we got a fish on. Nope, no fish. All right, drop number three. Whoa, this one's going almost straight down. Cool.
All right, so now I'm where I actually wanted to be originally. So it's time to whip out the good bait. Just cut uh, some nice chunks off of here. Yeah, basically I'll fillet them. You know, a half-assed fillet job. So, and I'll cut some strips out of this. One, two, oh, there we go. I'll just use two two pieces and then I'm gonna use the last squid here. So we must be right on top of this hump. So I guess we should probably drop down a nice weight. I, nice weight, nice bait, same thing, whatever. I got the Tanacom 1000 hooked up to uh, my second battery in there. We're in 530 feet. Uh, marking some fish on the bottom. And uh, let's drop it down. So uh, what I got here is two, no, this is a four pound weight. It's got this slender design so it fits in your uh, cup holder, which is, or not cup holder, rod holder, which is pretty epic. So we'll go by tossing these three baits overboard. It's a combo of squid and uh, some mackerel that I cut. Just drop your weight down there. All right, now you're ready to deep drop. So what you're gonna do is you flick this lever right here and that's gonna open your spool. Oh. There it goes. If you look at the counter, it started at uh, zero, but now it's going down and uh, it's counting in meters. There, you can see that we're 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So that, that'll count how, how much line you have out. All right, line stopped going out, which means we hit the bottom. If you watch the raw tip, you'll see it go down and then get whacked a little bit. That's the weight. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think we have a fish on. Yeah, I think I have a fish on. Oh my god, I wonder what it could be. This is exciting. <laughs> yeah! I can't believe it. I Instantly I feel a hundred times better. The total depth right now is 500 and... Uh, 30 feet, so it's almost halfway up. 15 meters. I should start seeing color, but I don't. Oh, I see color. Let's see. What could it be? What could it be?
stoked. I am stoked. <laughs> Oh yeah. See all those fish we just marked? That's what we're on top of right now. It looks like we're getting struck. Yep. Yes we are. It's on like Donkey Kong. It's time to relax. Take the sandals off. Woo. Drop another line. There's a few taps, it's like pop, 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 pop. That's when you know. Just keep giving it a little bit of line once in a while. Help keep it on the ground. Okay, I think we have a fish on. I'll slowly start it. Yeah, I think we have a fish on. All right, full speed. Bring her to Papa. Looks like a tile fish. There's birds everywhere. So let's toss this guy and see what the commotion is. Maybe we'll get a bite. Oh, I think I got some. Oh yeah, I got something. Oh, dolphin! It was a, it was a freaking dolphin. Holy shit! My, it was a dolphin. Hey, I think I need a troll now. I'm gonna do one more cast, just so I can put a couple dolphin in the boat. My, my. Oh, good cast, Faco. Thank you birds for letting me know where the fish are. as fast as I can.
Ow, Jesus, guys. This is... Yeah, bloody bone. How did that happen? How did he cut off? What, 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 what? It's a clean cut. Oh, something must have grabbed him. Yeah, nice little mahi. Nice little snack. Mahi sandwiches, woo! Not a bad day so far. All right, so we gotta put a new squid on here. Grab a big juicy one like this guy. Stick your barb in there. Push it through. Push your hook into the hole. Now push this little clamp into the hole too. So it's all kind of in there. Put your skirt on. And you're ready to troll. Let's give this guy a try. I think I got a fish on. Yeah! Yeah, 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 it's a nice one. He wants to go to this side, okay. I can play that. Jeez, he got hooked right in the head. How is that even possible? Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna keep him low so he doesn't jump overboard. Because that can't happen. Woohoo! He's a little bit bigger than the other one. Now we're talking. Well, I pretty much used all the gas that I bought this morning. Ugh. Well, my phone battery is about to die, but I would say today was pretty good. Went to some some grounds I've never been to, used a reel I've never used, I've never deep dropped, and I guess for my first time that was good, and I even got some money on top. bounty of today's catch um, a red porgy pretty big I've never seen one this big before uh, gray tile fish he's pretty big too and then two little peanuts peanut dolphins but perfect sandwich size not bad I think you can tell that I was wearing sunglasses. Well, I just cooked up some hogfish from the spear fishing trip a few days ago at the Otta. 
So now I'm gonna eat that while I fillet this beautiful catch of fishy gold. I just found some roe in this little peanut mine here. I took it out, put it in a bag. Eggs. It was all in here. So I don't know. I do like caviar, so I thought I might give it a try. I'm keeping the dolphin bellies. And I'm going to turn these into deep drop baits next time for the next trip. These are going to be really good baits because they don't come off the hook that easy compared to like mackerel that we're using today. So, voila!